In this video, we'll demonstrate how to insert your terminals and diffusers in a model as a group. The terminal function can be found in the duct network toolbox. So I'll click here and I will use for this demonstration rectangular ceiling diffuser 200 by 200 millimeters. Something important here is the placement reference. If you'd like to insert the object in a ceiling, suspended ceiling, finished floor or slab, you can select one of these references. But in this demonstration, I will set as free since I can insert in any geometry like this polygon that I have created previously. So I'll click OK and to activate the grouping function, right mouse click and I will select one type of, of grouping, which is place a metric on a surface in which I select the surface. So I move the group inside this geometry and as you can see the geometry the contour of this geometry is highlighted in green this is due to to the function uses surface mode to be active so i just move inside the, the geometry left click and the grouping function insert the objects with the dialog object group uh, we can influence this grouping, but for this geometry, it's so far so good. So just press OK. Now, if we move to the, to the rooms here, we see it's lots. Uh, there are lots of earth terminals for this room, or here, or here. Okay. So I will left click for this office one, and with the calculate type selected as distance from objects, I can simply type the number of objects I would like for the x direction as 2 and for the y direction 1 okay now the distance dx and dy is calculated automatically based on the number of objects by uh, for, for each direction so I'll click OK and if I move to the other room you will see that the last configuration is saved so i just have to click ok if i would like to keep the same i just click ok again like here and here now i will press escape activate the terminal function once more click ok and now let's see the placement on the surface but now i will define the surface like this is a good uh, region already but I would like to redefine it. So I want to cut it and start from here, define here, here and close to the windows. And then now I will close contour with perpendicular corner like this. All right. So if I set now, I would like four in an X direction and five in a Y direction. We have this. Okay. Now click OK and I'll press escape to close the function. I will right mouse click and select earth terminal function once more. Click OK, right mouse click. And at last I will select place a metrical on a line and I will define a line. In this hall, for instance, so I'm going to define from this snap until the other side of the hall, left click. And here we see that we have nine objects and the star point in the X here at the star point is one meter offset and the distance from uh, objects, the offset from objects is one meter. In this case, if I would like to set the number of objects, I would select in a calculate type. In a calculate type, I would select the option distance from objects and I could type, I would like to have only three objects and then the distance dx is calculated automatically or I can define the distance instead For, so I select objects from distance and I will set the star point as 1.5 and the distance dx 2.3 uh, meters okay and then I click OK now to end all of this we can select this group, right mouse click, and we can explode the group. After we do this, it, they will become single objects.